Um, the first subset we're going to take a look into is actually called double take. So as I'm scrolling through double take, I've noticed uh, a few things. So the first thing I noticed right away is that you guys went to the traditional route, which is awesome to see that you guys have the announcement bar, you have the menu, the banners, the unique selling proposition, um, and then within the categories, you have many other things. The one thing that I'm missing here is a sales part portion. If most of your traffic is landing on your homepage, I would move this featured product up. I'd move it right after either words from fans or A-B test it and put it right after unique selling proposition. Reason means because if you're looking to pre-sell pre an item, you want to make sure that's front and center that everybody needs to see it because on average, I think, not I think, I know, only 5%, 10 to 5% of customers will scroll all the way to the end. So you want to make sure that anything that you want to sell, anything that you want to have a major focus on is within that first scroll because that one scroll, you'll lose usually 60% because people are already going into the category page. Within your category page, I noticed a couple of things. So there's no pricing. There is tags like pre-orders within the name, um, but when you hover, it shows the pricing. You wanna be as transparent as possible. So you wanna make sure that your pricing is available without the hover. You wanna make sure that pre-orders are sold out. It should be a tag on the actual product image. Reason being is because the more information that you add into the product title, it just becomes cluttered and people will actually just not read the title. Some merchandising tips too, if your product is sold out, don't have it as the first product, especially the first two. Reason being is because the moment that we move into a mobile experience it's your first two product there's no hoverability so someone who's going to come in click on the product and they're going to see your product oh i really like the product and it's sold out that's going to cause the customer to bounce right away you have an option to send a hint but i'll replace this for especially for sold out items with a hey get notified when the product is back in stock right? Because at least you're going to get the customer to come back. So if I were to summarize a couple of things that you can, you can do is A-B test moving this product all the way up. Then on your category page, I would A-B test having the price visible and showing the pre-order or sold out as labels. Then the second thing I would, or the third thing I would do is have the variants, the specific variants of your products, be actual variants on the product, um, under, underneath the product. You can take a look at any website like Hudson's Bay, Nike, they, even though they have multiple of the same products, you're gonna see that they're variants for ease of the customer. Next.